to move on, then I will talk also uh, about what we have accomplished, what we are about. Okay, so I won't talk so much on the objectives and the aims and the structure and so on. Rather, we'll focus on what we are doing with the students, how we are engaging the students and what we have accomplished till date. Okay, so that will be my focus area. Uh, after me, uh, Dr. Uh, sorry, Mr. Amit, Amit Kumar Datta from the Department of Commerce, he will uh, initiate, okay, uh, he will initiate our uh, talks on entrepreneurship and how it is relevant in India and so on. Okay, following him will be Dr. Anup Gurung and finally Dr. Suresh. Okay, he will give the end note uh, talk for this seminar or webinar. So let's get started. Okay, uh, I think if you are all first year students, you already are quite aware of what Institute Innovation Council is and what EDC is, right? Because uh, especially for management students, I've already given you the pep talk, okay? Uh, now we will talk uh, again. I'll be recapping mostly what we are about, right? But the focus would be again on how we are engaging the students. Okay. So to give you a quick overview, right? In Institute Innovation Council is a very recent uh, venture. Okay. We just initiated this in December of 2020. Right? It is actually an initiative of Ministry of Human Resource Development, Government of India. Okay? Uh, likewise, Entrepreneurship Development Cell is an initiative of SRM University, Sikkim. Uh, EDC, likewise, is also fairly new. Right? It has only been a year since we have been in operations. But despite that, we have, we have been able to achieve quite a few milestones. Okay? So we'll talk about those. Now, first, let me talk about the aims of both the IIC as well as EDC, because actually the aims, they more or less uh, complement one another. Okay, so these are actually aims for both the uh, uh, initiatives, right? The first is to encourage, inspire and nurture young students by supporting them to work with new ideas and transforming them, transforming those ideas into prototypes. Okay, so again, uh, I've highlighted certain words like encourage, inspire, nurture. That is the aim behind the EDC as well as IIC. Okay, uh, and we are doing this for the students, especially for first year students, right? We're giving them opportunity uh, to test their dreams. Okay, so we'll talk more on that. Also, we want to inculcate entrepreneurship and management skills. Okay, this is actually a core aim of EDC. Right? We want to inculcate entrepreneurship and management skills. And we do this by having workshop sessions, by engaging experts, by giving many pep talks. Okay, And in fact, uh, I'll, I'll explain some of those shortly. Right? We also provide entrepreneurial resources and networking base. Okay, So this is, again, one of our aims. Right? We want to provide the entrepreneurial resources. This can be in the form of human resource. It can be form of it can be in other res uh, form of other resources. Okay, we also want to provide a platform, a network of entrepreneurs, right? Because entrepreneurship is all about networking. And also, we want to provide a forum for exchange of ideas and serve as a sounding board for startup ideas. So, how we do this, I will explain shortly. In fact, the next slide will focus on these. Okay, so these are the general aims of IIC as well as EDC, right? Our main objective, as I mentioned before in my pep talk, was is to actually see you succeed as entrepreneurs. Okay, so that is our main objective, and we will do the handholding, we will do the mentoring. We want to see your dreams, right? You realize your dreams, and in fact, that is our motto: your vision. And it is our mission to see that you realize your vision. OK. Now let's talk about the methodology. So how do we do this? Right? How do we achieve all these objectives? First is by holding competitions. Actually, this is one of the competitions we held. It was called The Pitch. Have an idea, make a pitch. Uh, this was actually pan, uh, this was uh, in the institute, at the institute level. So it was open to all departments, right? And I'll share the outcome of this competition with you. So this was a competition and it was 
is open to all the students. Okay. How else do we do this? How do we engage the students? We engage the students by having workshops. Okay, this was a business ideation workshop that we conducted on Monday. As I mentioned in the workshop, uh, we are deviating from the traditional form, right? Traditionally, it is held offline. We have a, we are divided. We are in a physical location, right? We divide the classroom into groups, and then we do a couple of exercises. That is how normally workshops are done, and that is how skill is imparted, right? And ideas are, are clarified. But in this one, we had to do it online. Nonetheless, like I said, it was quite effective. I think uh, the students liked it. They enjoyed it. Uh, again, let me repeat. OK, uh, after this event, this event has already transpired. It happened on Monday this week, right? So the details of this event will be posted soon enough on our website. And if you were there for the workshop, I kept mentioning, please again join the, right, visit our website. Make sure you go visit this event page, and from there you can download the resources. Okay, because I talked about many uh, concepts and many tools. So if you want to learn more on those tools, you have to uh, look at the SLM, the self-learning materials that we had prepared for this particular workshop. So you can download this. Okay. We also uh, engage the students by doing seminars, like this seminar, for example, promoting entrepreneurship. Right. So this is a webinar that is being conducted uh, by several faculty members. And like this, we want to, uh, like I said, OK, impart, uh, spread awareness, right? Encourage students to become entrepreneurs, OK, to engage in innovation, to engage in research and so on. Also, we engage students by doing this, right, by uh, actually sponsoring them so they can participate in other institutes, okay, in other competitions. For example, this was held in SMIT. Although, like I said, our students uh, probably did not go for this workshop, okay, for this competition, but nonetheless, there are several competitions like this, okay? And this is held by many uh, institutes, right? Pan India. So, like I said, if you are a member of EDC, if you are, especially if you are a member of EDC, okay, you can actually ask, Right? We will select you. Okay, if you want to participate, we will actually publish events, right? And we'll encourage your participation. And like I said, SRM University will actually support you. We will compensate you. We'll compensate your travel. We'll compensate your expenses to an extent, not entirely, but to an extent. Okay, because like I said, we want to encourage this, right? So we want to engage. The idea is to create an ecosystem of entrepreneurship, of innovation, of awareness. Okay. Okay. And also we do this, right? We try to uh, inspire the students. We try to engage the students by bringing in uh, eminent uh, entrepreneurs. So here, like I said, I mentioned him, right? Before also, Riva Shetri. He was selected as Forbes 30 under 30. Okay. He also happens to be as uh, one of the members. Okay, he's an external expert for the EDC. Likewise, we will actually uh, request him to be part of IIC, an external expert for IIC. Okay, so like him, there's, there'll be several other prominent entrepreneurs that we will try to engage with. Okay, and he has already been here several times, right? And he has engaged with the students. Okay, so this is our aim, right? And this is what EDC and IIC is about. Okay, we, we are about doing workshops. We are about carrying out activities. We are about uh, setting up competitions. Also that you can uh, have a platform, right? You can have a chance to actually uh, showcase your talent, realize your dreams and so forth, okay? So now here are actually a few inspirations, okay? Uh, these are, like I said, a few events that I've highlighted here, okay? And these are mostly from our students. So first, but not the least, right? I, I'd like to actually uh, say a few words regarding uh, all these initiatives and our vice chancellor. Okay, because without our vice chancellor, these initiatives would not have been realized. So our vice chancellor is also an active member. Okay, he also participates in several of these events. In fact, you will see him drop in, in several of these events. So in one of these events here, actually he participated. He participated, right? So again, like I said, these events, these initiatives, the EDC, 
the IIC would not have seen the light of the day had it not been for the support and encouragement of the vice chancellor. Okay, so all thanks to sir. Also, we'd like to uh, thank the student members, especially, particularly uh, the EDC members for making, for participating. Participation is very important. Okay, we provide the platform, but like I said, this platform is meaningless if the students do not participate. So here actually we see uh, our SRM students participating in a competition. This was uh, the pitch competition. Okay, it was uh, in collaboration with the National Entrepreneur, uh, sorry, with IIT Mumbai, right? e -cell, IIT Mumbai e -cell. Okay, so you can see the banner at the back side. And here we see two participants. They are actually pitching their ideas. So on the other side, we see a lot of students, right? So here are the students, okay? They are not necessarily EDC. So like I said, we are open to every student. But generally, if you want to make the most of it, you have to become part of EDC. Okay, IIC is more exclusive. So I'll talk about how the membership differs between EDC and IIC. Okay, but generally, like I said, if students want to participate, they have to become members, especially for EDC. And then you can participate in all these competitions and activities. And likewise, we will sponsor you, okay, for events and activities, right? And here we see a small workshop that is being conducted by EDC. Okay, uh, this workshop I think was on uh, business planning. Okay, so we see some students planning, and this is normally how workshops are done. It is offline. It is in, done in small circles, right? And we engage the students. Okay, on a one-to-one -one basis. So that's this was the idea, right? Here actually we have Bhavesh. Okay, so he was the winner of the competition, the pitch competition. Right. So I have a clip here. I'd like to play this clip for you. Okay. This is him actually making a small pitch. So it is just a few minutes long. It's uh, just a few seconds long. It is not his entire pitch, but he won the competition because of this pitch. Okay. Bhavesh Lutel. Uh, he's from he's currently MBA fourth semester. And he was the winner of the idea pitching competition. So let's hear from him. One sec, sir. Audio is not there, sir. Audio is not there. You could not be able to hear the voice. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, is the audio there? No, sir. That's it. Oh, sorry. Then I cannot play the. We are not able to hear. Yeah. Uh, I thought the audio would be uh, audible also. But, anyways, so, okay, so he's Bhavesh. Okay. Uh, and he was the winner of the idea co pitching competition. We will meet him again shortly. Okay. Uh, by the way, when we are talking about competitions, and this is very important, especially if you are EDC students and EDC members, okay, you have to constantly visit our website. Just now, if you go to our website, we have posted two events. Okay. This is Pan India competition, business competition. This is org being organized by Vivek Nandan, Education Society. Okay. So this is, like I said, uh, if you go to our website and if you look up under news and announcement, so make sure you have a habit of doing this on a regular basis, okay? Because we will post important updates there. So this is actually open to all students. Furthermore, if you want, like I said, the EDC is there to help you, okay? So if you want to participate in this event, by all means, you can contact the following members from EDC. Okay, so this is there in the poster as well. Okay, uh, Mr. Amit Kumar, as well as Ms. Priyanka. Okay, both of them are EDC faculty coordinators. So you can reach out to them in this via this email. Okay, and you want you can tell them that you want to participate, and we will have a meeting and we will have a session. On this session, we will guide you on how to 
make your business plan. I think this is on business planning. Actually, there are several si uh, stages, right? So you have to move through the stages as long as you get selected. So we will help you do that. Okay. Now, this is one competition. This is the business ideation competition. Okay. And the price, uh, sorry, they have a cash price of uh, 40,000. Likewise, there's another e-summit being organized. Actually, this is being organized by IIT Mumbai. Okay, e-summit by IIT Mumbai. It is their e-cell that is organizing this e IIT uh, e-summit. Okay, so again, the details are there. The deadlines are coming up very quickly. Okay, I think the, for the first event, the deadline is 25th. Sorry, it starts from 25th. By 25th, you have to register your team, right? And the event will uh, stretch on for a few days. Likewise, e-summit, I think this event also, the deadline is coming up. We posted this almost two days back. So again, if you want the details, you can go online. You can go to our website. You can look under news and announcement. All the details are there. You have to register your teams for both these events. Okay. And likewise, I think there's one more that we will post shortly. Okay. As upcoming event. This is again Pan India. So like I said, events like this are constantly happening. If you are a member of EDC and if you sh if you have the right initiative, the right attitude, the right uh, zeal, we will definitely sponsor you for these events. Okay. Uh, so here is actually another competition that we hold. We held. This was a panel discussion on entrepreneurship. We had a student speaker, right, and as well as faculty coordinators, as well as EDC coordinator, right, and we had a discussion on uh, whether entrepreneurship is good or not. And likewise, actually, this is a video, but I, again, I cannot play this video, okay, because uh, the sound is not there, right? But uh, this is a video, and here the student is actually giving her response, right, on this session. And she's essentially telling us that it was fairly informative, it was quite educational, it was very insightful, and so on. Okay, so like this, we want to engage the students, right? Now, what else are we doing? Actually, like I said, the EDC, the idea behind EDC is what? To incubate business ideas. Okay, we want to incubate. We want to see your dreams. You realize your dreams. So actually, this is a student. Her name is Shakina. She is currently BBA fourth semester, second year. And it, she got actually shortlisted. Okay, there were several projects that got shortlisted, almost like 10 projects. Right? But these projects have to go through a series of, like I said, uh, steps before they, they go to the final round. And many of these participants, they lost their interest. They lost their motivation. So again, like I said, you cannot lose your motivation. You have to be there. Right? You have to stick with the EDC. So Amoy Foods are actually one of the projects that is in its final leg. Now the next step is actually business planning. We will have a business plan session. We will ensure that these... Uh, for these initiatives, we'll come up with a concrete business plan. Next, we'll try to raise the funds for this uh, business, right? And we'll try to incubate it. Okay. Likewise, this is another project, Mavesh, fixtures. Okay. They, these, this is a project by him. A doorstep service delivery of finding professional servicemen for delivering various services like carpentry, electrical work, painting, plumbing, repairing, and so on. So obviously for reasons obvious we haven't given you the entire business model because these are ideas and ideas can easily be copied okay so we have left it deliberately uh, as kind of ambiguous but his idea also got selected so there are two uh, projects in the pipeline for edc just now we are trying to incubate one is fixtures the other is amoy food okay and both of these will be going into the next phase which is the business planning phase and after this, they will, we will try to raise funds, right, for these ventures. And hopefully, if we are successful, then we will try to uh, actually incubate this, uh, this, uh, these ideas. Okay. So like this, like I said, we will provide a platform to all of you to do this. We will have a hearing. We will go department-wise for the entire school, and we will have hearing sessions, right, uh, where we will, where students will pitch their ideas it will be evaluated by the edc members potential ideas will be shortlisted like these ideas and we will ask you to do certain things which you have to do and if you do it and if you stick with us then like i said we will see your ideas 
come to its fruition. Okay, so these are actual two pi projects that are in the pipeline. Uh, shortly, we will update our website with all of this information. Okay, under the EDC uh, web page, right? So now the question is, how do you participate? How do you become a member? So if you want to become members, okay, for EDC or for IIC or for both, you have to send me an email. Okay, please send the email to the following, wongchuk.c at srmus.edu.in. Okay, the subject should say EDC or IIC or both, membership, right? And please send me the following. You have to send me the registration number, the full name, the gender, the program, year, mobile, and email. And the deadline for this is Friday, January 15, 2021. Earlier it was Monday, now we are extending it because we, technically it requires that we actually give you an initiation like we are doing today. Not the pep talk. The pep talk wasn't the initiation. This is the real initiation, right? So now that we have done this, the deadline is Friday, January 15. If you are interested, please send me your details. Just this details will do. Okay, you have to send it to me. And once we have these details, we'll put you into our database. And henceforth, whenever we are organizing activities, whenever we are announcing competitions, you will receive an email. Okay, EDC members, when you become a member, you have to come and uh, join. You have to come and participate in this membership, uh, in this uh, programs. Because for you, we are doing this. Okay, so it becomes mandatory for you. If you do not, if you successfully uh, do not attend these meetings, these meets, okay, these events, then your name will be dropped from the EDC. Okay, now here's the thing. Uh, what is the difference between EDC and IIC membership? EDC is mainly for students, right? It is aimed for your benefit because you have an entrepreneurial dream. You want to make the most of it and you want to utilize the college resources, the university resources. You become part of EDC. And for you, we'll do a number of activities and events, and you have to come and participate. Okay, so this is mainly for you. But for IIC, it is slightly different. IIC is at the institute level, right? Actually, EDC is also at the institute level. But for IIC, the membership is more exclusive. So we won't be open to all the students. If we get too many, we will have to handpick. Okay, so we'll have a session where we will interview you, we'll handpick the students. Once you become IIC members, you have to actually have the IIC faculty coordinators organize events. It is not quite the same as EDC. Okay, IIC members have to be active members. You will have to organize events, uh, uh, seminars, and so on, right? Uh, making posters, announcing this, announcing that, organizing events. Okay, all this would be uh, your task as IIC volunteers. Okay, but like I said, uh, for IIC volunteers, we will give you a certificate. Also, we will give you a, a letter of recommendation. Okay, you will receive a certificate as well as a letter of recommendation from the institute, from the IIC. Okay, stating that you were a volunteer and then you helped in all this project. So this will actually put you uh, in an advantage when you go for uh, placement. But not only placements, it, look at it as a learning opportunity. Okay, so this is an excellent learning platform for students. If you want to volunteer, if you want to learn about leadership roles, if you want to learn about event management, if you want to learn about entrepreneurship, then you should volunteer as IICs. Volunteer. Okay, so both for both IIC as well as EDC, the deadline is Friday, January 15, 2021. Please make sure you send me these details. The sooner the first... Uh, the sooner the better okay so with this i come to the end of my presentation okay uh now uh next i think uh mr amit data okay he, he will take over and he will talk about entrepreneurship in general and importance of entrepreneurship here in india okay <coughs> okay mr uh, amit sir uh yes sir uh you are requested to in a, in fact i want to here uh, ppt so you are requested to in fact uh, I'll stop sharing yeah yeah you are requested to stop sharing fine sir
good afternoon to uh, honorable associate dean uh, head of the departments uh, faculty members uh, president of iic uh, uh, wang chuk sir and also the members of iic and also members from uh, ebc and uh, dear students uh, i am uh, in fact very honored to be you know sharing some thoughts on entrepreneurship and also startup uh what i understand is that uh, you know students from different streams have joined the uh, webinar on uh, entrepreneurship and therefore uh, it is pertinent that you know you have some understanding on what entrepreneurship is so i would be taking you through uh, an understanding on what entrepreneurship is and also what is startup okay <clears throat> so uh, good afternoon uh, once again to everyone uh so what is basically entrepreneurship uh, my objective is to you know just share some basic ideas on what entrepreneurship is what is startup so that you know students gather some idea and obviously our objective is to in fact encourage uh, students to join iic join edc because we are very much uh, focused on promoting entrepreneurship among students uh, we are doing uh, we uh, in fact through iic and edc we would be doing lot of activities we are doing and we would be doing lot of activities as uh, wang chuk sir has pointed out so basically what is entrepreneurship so uh, uh, you know it is basically nothing but uh, uh, you know it is uh, you know a process of starting business because students uh, you are in, in fact you know yeah, the uh, you know students from different uh, courses now some of you may be in the uh, final year uh, so it's not necessary that all of you would be opting for jobs you know you may be uh, you know thinking of being independent in your in your life and you would want to be you know a master of your destiny you would want to be your own boss so what you may think is that how to start up your own business how to in fact you know uh, just help yourself so entrepreneurship would be the perfect choice for you and students who are from first semester i think you also require awareness so that you could also consider it to be a career option so you know uh, uh, in a very simple language what we can say about entrepreneurship is all the activities which are required to start and operate your own business and uh, who is an entrepreneur actually entrepreneur basically is a person who it could also be an institution who takes uh, all the necessary initiatives to start a business organization okay and takes the necessary risk so the most important thing the most important characteristic about an entrepreneur is that i know the person or the institution takes all the necessary risk to start a business enterprise because we know that in a business there are a lot of risks okay there are different different kind of risks there are risks of failure there are risks of you know default you know there are different different kind of risk but you now the person uh, uh, takes all the necessary risk shoulders all the necessary risk to sh you know start a business enterprise uh if we have to talk about the evolution of entrepreneurship the history of entrepreneurship actually entrepreneurship is not an english word it is derived from the french word okay so it has originated from the french word entreprendre it means to undertake and uh, the person who coined the word entrepreneurship for the first time was richard candelan in 19 in 1755 okay so in 1755 this gentleman uh, richard candelan he was the first person who came up with this idea of entrepreneurship okay and basically what it means what he meant he meant that a person who takes all the necessary initiatives to start a business organization who takes the risks who undertakes the risk so that you know uh, a business enterprise could be brought into existence if you look at this picture you know you can see a person you know what this person is doing basically this is what an entrepreneur da does you know you may have studied in economics especially students from uh, commerce and management you know the important factors of product production land labor capital so this is what an entrepreneur does the uh, an entrepreneur organizes an entrepreneur mobilizes all these important factors of production because if you want to start a business organization you have to mobilize these important factors of production and this is basically the job of an entrepreneur 
now here it is very much important for you to understand the difference between entrepreneur entrepreneurship and under, enterprise so what is the difference between these three things uh, you know there is a requirement to have clarity on this matter so entrepreneur who is an entrepreneur an entrepreneur is a person actually you could be an entrepreneur or say uh, in fact uh, your mark zuckerberg you know you have heard of facebook he also is an entrepreneur so an entrepreneur could be a person what is entrepreneurship entrepreneurship means it's a process it's a process it's a process of setting a business unit and what is enterprise because see when we are investing our time money resources we want an outcome we want a result so the result of entrepreneurship is enterprise so ultimately every entrepreneur wants to see an enterprise enterprise so the outcome of entrepreneurship is enterprise or a business organization so you need to understand the difference between these three things so uh, right here obviously uh, some very renowned uh, entrepreneurs uh, from the world i think most of the names uh, these names i think most of you are familiar with like mark zuckerberg you know bill gates jeff bezos larry page new warren buffett so these are all world famous jack ma so these are all world famous entrepreneurs they all started as entrepreneurs and you know they have made so they are all legends you know they are all legends in the world of entrepreneurship and i think students uh, you know you may be aware of about most of these personalities and india uh, remain far behind certainly not so these are the famous entrepreneurs from india hmm, india also has been you know coming up with some renowned entrepreneurs and we are not left behind the rest of the world so here is a list of some famous entrepreneurs from india and this you know list includes both uh, both the old gen uh, entrepreneurs from both the old economy as well as the new economy okay old economy means you know our traditional economy hmm, which we had and new economy means it driven economy as for example if you consider mr vijay shekhar sharma who is the founder of paytm hmm. then uh, we have narayana murthy who is the founder of infosys so these are all technology driven you know entrepreneurs because we know that india is famous for in, uh, information technology so we have got uh, a complete list of these entrepreneurs let's come to sikkim <laughs> so he is in fact a very famous entrepreneur and uh, you know he also has figured among uh, forbes under 30 30 uh mr riva chhetri so he is a famous you know entrepreneur from uh, sikkim so startups <coughs> maybe thinking of what what exactly is a startup now you know because the most of you students you know you may be frothing with ideas you may be having ideas and you know as uh, you know wang chuk sir has told that you know we are organizing different different kind of activities where we are giving opportunities to students uh to come up with to pitch their ideas so those ideas need to be crystallized into some kind of business unit so this is basically what a startup is so what is a startup basically so startup is a company actually at its first phase hmm. so and the idea of startup is that you want to start a company well, 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 having an idea actually so and a, a company at its initial phase based on some idea which you want to address a common problem okay so or, or or an issue so that exactly is a startup these are some important startups in india i think uh, students you may be aware of most of these like paytm uh, ola byju's swiggy zomato so these are all you know uh, very valuable startups uh, of our country uh so i think uh, students uh, you know most of you may be using um, paytm hmm. so this gentleman he also started paytm as a startup and he is a very famous personality mr vijay shekhar sharma hmm. so he also started and paytm is a very very popular you know uh, you know this uh, you know it, it, it's it's a mobile wallet actually it's a wallet actually it's a pay wallet so it's a very very you know uh, you know popular actually and this gentleman uh, uh, is credited for you know start uh, uh, you know finding or uh, this startup you see having an idea and to ensure that idea you know is uh, you know establishing itself into a business 
that is exactly what um, a startup is all about but you have to go certain processes so i am trying to show you what are the stages um, uh, which one should go through in order to develop a startup so basically if we consider a startup the important stages are pre startup startup and growth okay so uh, you know uh, you know we may be having ideas okay we may be having ideas so every startup <coughs> it begins with an idea and that idea should address some issue okay as for example students you know if you look around one of the important issue which we are facing in gangtok today is that of traffic correct i think most of us are facing this traffic issue uh, in the morning so if someone is coming up with an idea as to address this traffic issue so obviously that will be the starting point of the startup and then obviously you need to have a vision and mission but gradually as you move up the next thing which you have to do is that you have to come up with a prototype of the startup that is minimum viable product mvp so what is mvp mvp means that you should come up with a prototype of that product a model of that product okay and then once you come up with that model of that product you have to work on that model you have to ensure that you know model is uh, you know uh, in fact uh, all the necessary activities are being done to commercialize that model that model should be uh, should should have some business value you should be able to commercialize it and then you are launching it and once you are launching it you also have to ensure that there is growth you are able to scale up because every you know a good startup you know if you look at all these startups they are in fact being developed they all started with a very basic idea like paytm ola swiggy zomato they all started with an idea but today they have all grown up into very very successful businesses and you can uh, you know, look at their their what in dollars as for example the what of paytm is 16 billion dollars okay if you look at baizu it is 5.75 billion dollars so how is it possible it is possible because these business ideas have been scaled up okay so this is what uh, it should be uh, done okay. so let me conclude with a very famous saying uh, of by thomas edison who happens to be the founder of general electric the value of an idea lies in the using of it so many of you may be having an idea but what is the use of the idea if you are not using it okay so you have to start using that idea and iic and edc gives you the perfect launch pad the perfect platform to make use of the idea because students in srm university specifically we are very much focused on you know developing you know these startups and giving opportunities to students to entrepreneurship so you have to make use of these opportunities um uh, by you know giving a practical shape to whatever idea you are requested to come forward with your idea and you can uh, in fact you know and uh, by and make use of the necessary platform which the university is giving you thank you Shall I start? Mm hmm. Yes, sir. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon to respected Mr. Sir, Associate Deans, uh, uh, Head of the Departments, uh, my dear colleagues, and dear students. <clears throat> First of all, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Wang Chuk, sir, for explaining the working method of IIC and EDC. details to our, our students and other members secondly thank you to datta sir for explaining the difference between startup the uh, the steps in entrepreneurship and uh, all now since uh, uh, everything about the working of pc and ic has been explained also uh, the difference between uh, the importance of entrepreneurship also has been explained by the professor uh, i would like to take up a case study of alan mox uh, a science entrepreneur i i have given the name uh, the, as science entrepreneur because if you see uh, what is the importance of inter, uh, entrepreneurship in today's world if you see that 
most of the products that has been developed belongs to science background. So, but an entrepreneur can be of any background. Like for example, Steve Jobs, who has worked on uh, Apple in uh, uh, Apple uh, Private Limited. Now, uh, what is the importance of entrepreneurship in today's world? If you consider the development of any country, it's actually the people with entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship skills who has uh, played a vital role. For example, let's consider a small country like Israel. It's called, uh, uh, is my uh, slides visible? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Now, Israel yes, sir. Is yes, sir. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now, Israel is called a land of entrepreneurship. It's a small country, it's a desert kind of country. But how come it can it become a so developed and self-sufficient country? It's, the, uh, it's, it's not because of any other, like their defense and all plays a vital role, their agriculture also plays a vital role, but it's because of their entrepreneurs. Okay? And how does they become such a vastly successful entrepreneur is because they has taken science as their, uh, you know, science and technology, not, not say science only, but technology, science and technology to be, uh, to be their core uh, field. Now, if you go by uh, why I have chosen Elon Musk as a case study, because you have of uh, other uh, science-based entrepreneurs also, like uh, 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 Amazon's Jeff Bezos, Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, Microsoft's Bill Gates, all right? What I found a different and more, you know, attracting criteria about uh, Alan Mox is his vision, you know, his vision is, you know, uh, like extraordinary. He has started from small game gaming app now to his vision of future for the in a, uh, habitating Mars. All right, now so who is Alan Moss? He is a cutting edge visionary. His vision is you know out of this world. He is a out of uh, box thinker, right? And he's a Complete innovator. He has founded five companies. Five of them are very successful. And his he thinks, you know, far, far fetched. He think thinking are very far fetched. So some people say he's a real life Tony Stark. Have you? Uh, I think most of you have watched Iron Man, the part of Avenger, right? So Iron Man is also an industrialist, a corporator, but who who makes his own innovations and that comes handy in playing in saving the world okay so what i want actually what i am trying to say is if not if, if uh, the 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 young students like you must have a great big vision like alan Marx. why there is a saying in uh, japan that if they can do we can also do but if they can't cannot do we must do okay it's not that you are getting a world class uh, uh, education. Everything is world class now. But what is that which is stopping you? It's, it's, it's your own thinking that is stopping you. So that's why I've chosen uh, Ellen Marx. That should be your case study. That should be your goal. All right. And why I've chosen science and technology as a uh, topic is because science and technology gives you lots of opportunity. So if you, if your background is business, but like Steve Jobs, he's not a particularly science and background uh, science background uh, candidate, but he co-founded Apple because he had that visionary mind. Okay, it's all about visionary mind, and uh, you know, and what I say is like smart people. Okay, smart people should be rich. I mean to say that if if you are smart, you should use your uh, smartness to, to gain something isn't it all right now if you go uh, the, regarding the history and the biography of Elon Musk his full name is Elon Reed Musk 
was born in uh, 1971. It's, it's not purely American also. It's migrants, as you said, the migrants. In India, when you move from one state to another state, it's called also migrants. But that is that I don't support. What is it? He shifted from Africa to America and he lived his dream. All right. He married an uh, actress. He's uh, living in Los Angeles. All right. So his occupation is what? He's, he's, he's entrepreneur. First of all, he's an entrepreneur, then he's engineer, then he's investor. He not only is, uh, uh, does his own startup, but he invests in other startups, which, uh, which um, he seems plausible. Okay. So an uh, entrepreneur must have that vision that some things is going to work well or is worth spending time and money. All right. Now, okay. Now, if you go for the, the his timeline, he was born in 1971, and uh, there is a there is a uh, scientist Tyson. Okay, he's a physicist. Some some student asks, "What is the age of being a uh, to be a scientist?" The 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 physicist still told her that the good thing about being a scientist is you, there is no age. You can be any time a scientist. So at the age of 12, he creates a video game and sells at around $500. Uh, so that gave him the program with the boost. So you people also don't think that your age is less or you are not ready right now. You can do any time. You can uh, do things. There is no wrong time to do right things. Right? So at the age of, uh, at, uh, in 1999, he made a um, uh, company called G2, who is, which, which he sold at around $300 million. And he started PayPal and there is, there is no looking back. The most important, uh, the, the most uh, important and interesting thing he has found that impressed me is the founding of SpaceX. Then it never, then he started Tesla. Tesla and now his uh, future visions are, you know, uh, it's unimaginable. Now, now, oh, wow, uh, I mean, uh, like, I would, I would like to, I don't know, you people have uh, gone through this one or not, the SpaceX. Okay. This is, you know, one of the you know, stepping stone for whole human civilization, you can see. All right. Now, here, when whatever satellites see, this whole world is running on satellites, this is right, satellite, satellite communication, satellite, everything, right, satellite defense system, everything. Now, earlier, when any satellite that has to be uh, uh, fixed in the orbit, the booster, the, the carriers which uh, used to carry the satellite, it, has, it was, you know, you, it became useless after one go. It's like you are buying a new car, it's buying a new car. And once you reach the destination, you go over the car. Okay, that was highly cost ineffective. But everybody was following that. All right, even NASA. So what he did was he thought unthinkable. Like he thought of reusable boosters. Now this SpaceX, this uh, he made grasshopper prototype, which was uh, like which was used to uh, put the satellite in the which is used to put a satellite in the orbit then again he landed back to the earth safely and again it is it became reusable so that gave a very very you know a big window for the space exploration space exploration by using one time only booster is it will be too costly so even nasa could not do those things now nasa is using the falcon boosters put their respective satellites to the orbit again and that boosters comes back and again it be used. so it saves you trillions and trillions of dollars for this process now there's a possibility that there can be a space tourism right a, a person can afford to go to the space and so this is so this really uh, inspired me to give this talk because you know this this kind of entrepreneur see he's an entrepreneur and he he has almost changed 
the human civilization now. With his this with this kind of entrepreneurship, now we have the capability of going to Mars, going to Mars, and so it it is like you know you go, going with the aeroplane. You are going from a one one place to another, and the same aeroplane is being used again and again. Earlier it was not like it was one way ticket. All right. Even if you go go come back, you will not come back with all the necessary use vehicles. Okay. So it is the first private uh, space flight uh, company. So he has founded the private. Just imagine how big. Even some countries does not have a space um, organization. You know, but he simply single-handedly founded this private organization. I just want to show you one uh, video. Of landing of this spacecraft, let me say. Uh, is my window visible? This uh, this one. YouTube window is is it visible, sir? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's visible. Okay, thank you. So this is landing. Uh, this is the takeoff of the. Uh, I don't know. You are. You can hear voice or not from the video, but. But this is the. Take off of the Falcon boosters, okay, along with the satellites. Okay, it will go going. Now it will separate. We separated. Now it's coming back. It's landing in the drone ship. That is drone is. So this is now reusable. Now this can be used again. Okay, they, they are the work. They, they are the. They, they all the work belong to the entrepreneur. See, we we might um, dislike the you know corporates and entrepreneurs, but it is them who who is giving you jobs and everything opportunities and now. Okay, so we should be very uh, balanced in thinking. All right. This is the another angle of the uh, landing. So, so this is what I'm talking. I was talking about. Okay, this is what I was talking about. That neither any government, not even the U.S. government, think about those kind of things. But an entrepreneur thought about so, and he did the miracle. Another miracle is now. Now. Uh, we have this uh, fossil fuels like petrol and everything is fossil fuel, diesel, everything is a fossil fuel. One day is going to get over. All right. Another thing is because of this fossil fuel, lots of you know gases are coming up. For example, most important is carbon dioxide. Everybody is running after climate change and all, but nobody is stopping driving the, their fossil fuel car. Okay. Now he has come up with the Tesla car. Have you heard about Tesla? Anyone? The car? Yes, sir. Okay, good, very good. Now he has come up with the Tesla car. Now this car is battery operated, and in one charge of half an hour charge, it can go around 400 miles. That efficient uh, it has made. Now in the future, if petrol and everything goes up, now we have the alternative. Even if petrol is there, we we can stop using those petrols because you have the a car which is battery operated which gives good uh, mileage and all the that uh, fueling station that recharging stations are free especially in the us but we can make it in india also all right so so this is going to change the world isn't it so so i think you you people being uh, willing to be an inter entrepreneurship i think like even if it is a simple step you should go for it Okay. Everybody is asking for job. That's a different thing. But an entrepreneur, a person, a normal person can get a one job. But an entrepreneur can give a lots of job. Like, like Ambani has given. Like Elon Musk has given. Like so many other Tata has given. Tata, and so on. Everything is so. An entrepreneur can give you job to more people, and it can do good to the whole society, whole environment, whole world. Okay. Now. Where from this came? How did the, he thought about this Tesla car? Okay, it might be costly right now, maybe 90 lakh, but it will, with the time it will go down. Okay, and it becomes it becomes cheaper than you are running a 
pure car, petrol based car. Okay, guys. Now, it where from the idea came? The idea is not a like rocket science idea. The Falcon might be a like rocket science uh, idea, but this one is not a rocket science idea. We simply thought of a battery. Okay, we simply thought of a battery, small battery that that runs your a uh, mobile phone, and who who developed those mobile phone is uh, mobile phone battery is by John B. Goodenough, who got who got Nobel in 2019 in chemistry. All right. So uh, to be an entrepreneur is not that one has open address so you also have open hardware. You have to be very you know informed, highly informed. You should be able to think which thing will go. In which direction? All right. So the the scientist, the smart person. That's why I I told you the smart people should not be. Uh, you know, I've seen so many smart people uh, who is not able to do anything, or so many you know brave people who is also not able to do anything. What you need is you need to be smart. Also, you should be a brave. All right. You should have guts to do something. If you if you want to stay in your comfort zone only, you won't be able to do anything. So he thought that a small uh, battery can run a phone. Then if you combine these batteries, large scale, obviously you can run the whole car. All right. And if you with the with the development of science and technology, the efficiency of these all these things are is going on increase. All right. When the efficiency increases, obviously. Uh, Obviously, we have a proto in Silicon we uh, which is run by your battery. All right. Now we are going to see so many things that is battery operated that such, uh, so that the fossil fuels and all will be obsolete one day. I got that camera that Himala uh, camera got absolute. Similarly, all these things will be going to be obsolete, which is done by your entrepreneurs. Okay. Not only invention is not enough. For example, he has invented. Uh, Professor jo John Goodenough has invented, but that is not enough. You need an entrepreneur to make this thing success. Okay? Though he has got, uh, though he, he has got Nobel Prize, three million dollars, and three patents also. Only an entrepreneur can make such things available to the world, the common people. Okay, guys. That is that. Well, that's what I wanted to say. Now, next, his next uh, uh, view vision is solar city. So he keeps on dreaming. You know, he keeps on thinking. Like entrepreneur means you need not stick with one idea. Sometimes the idea might fail also, but you have to move on. All right. But the solo thing is you have to think. You have to have guts. You have to do something. Sitting in one place is not going to fetch you. Anything, all right? The solar city. So we are in uh, today's world. Science and technology have advanced so that that we are getting more efficient solar cells, all right? So, so these are the things I wanted to say. And what is the leadership value? What, why, what should be the leadership qualities in a successful entrepreneur? Taking a case study of you know Ellen Wands, you have to be authentic. If you are if you are not authentic, if you are not uh, you know, uh, trustable, then you you can benefit for one time, but you cannot benefit all the time, right? And self awareness: what is uh, you are uh, capable of, and what you are not capable of. That also we have to think of yourself, and you should know it. Sometimes people think more than they are. Sometimes people think less than what they are. Like then, low confidence or over confidence. But you have to be self-aware that how much you can do, right? Intuitive. You have to take some time decision become on your intuition. You cannot go on thinking. The most important thing is what I feel is persistent. You have to one day you do and tomorrow if you do, then it's not going to be. Outspoken means you know, whatever ideas you have, whatever ideas others have, you must hear or you must say. If you keep your ideas or um your ideas within yourself, or you won't let other people speak, that is not going to work. So, if you work in a group now, everybody has you should let everybody talk and you should talk also. 
It's not that you keep something in your mind and you you, uh, you think that other, uh, others will understand by themselves. Or something means you wrong. Something is wrong is happening in your. Suppose you have open one um, company or something like that. If somebody is doing well, even if you uh, is he or she is your from uh, you know I have thing right. You should be able to say those things that he, this is going wrong. Uh, even if your lower employee is telling you, then you should be able to grasp that that what is going. On. Then only a certain company might you know develop, right? If you don't share your ideas with each other, then it's very difficult to you know get the things done, right? Isn't it, guys? So shortcomings, see, uh, he, he, it's not that he has shortcomings, also. he has shortcomings, and sometimes he might get overconfidence, okay, and uh, lack of empathy, like uh, he might talk rude with uh, your these things, but those are his shortcomings, he will try, he try to overcome all those things, okay, two part of his ideas, okay, which is not possible also. So every, every human being has their uh, pros and cons, it's not that he is all, you know, right, all the time, right, all, no, he also has, you know, Four times and his shortcomings, but the thing is, he accepts those shortcomings. One has to accept those shortcomings. All right. No, what makes it different is his ideas are bold. You know, bold means you have to, you know, but see, if if you think of only doing small small things, but though you have the capability of doing great things, then also it's, you are going to stop in small things. Also, bold means risky. Yeah, everything is even is opening a simple pants up is always risky. All right, take this. See what is the saying goes is most dangerous, most important dangerous risks in this world. life is not to take this. Okay. So he's bold and he does what and he gives 100% commitment. All right, those. Success of those Tesla. There are so many people say that Tesla is not going to work. It's not going to, you know, work or that it, uh, the car is not going to go that far or the charging station will be very difficult or the, everything will be, you know, charging time will take long. Everything, all the hurdles came into the way of Tesla. Now Tesla is the highest, um, you know, bidding company and it has come to India also recently. All right. So it's not that the, Huddles will want come in if you start your entrepreneur or if you go to the uh, entrepreneurship and all, you will be lots of problem. It's not that it's a problem for you, all right? But with 100% commitment and bold steps and smartness, we are going to so sustainability. One is sustainability, it should not be your company, your, your view, vision should not be for one day or one year, it should be a what for all the time, it should be sustainable. It's not that if you open a company in one reason and all the resources you have taken up and finished it all. And you went to somewhere else. No, something like that. And he's a really a, he's one of my role model. All right. And you no, know, he's a role model for other people. So he see now whatever till now he has done is out of the box. It is extraordinary. That's why I've done Alan Mox as a uh yes sister because i wanted to give one of the best now what next see see human everybody for nasa is studied so everybody wants to colonize mars mars because anytime all can be oh can be like like dinosaurs can happen so his vision is to mars colonize that's why he has studied this falcon mission mission and all so he has estimated business plan as well for eighty thousand people Individual cost will be 0.5 million, that is 5 lakh dollar. Okay, so he has already uh, done the research with that business. All right, other, other one is open source of technology. All that I like, uh, even Coca Cola, that how the formula of Coca Cola has been in the some shape I have also. But what he wants is he wants all the patents to go and all the technology to be open source so that anybody can make any written law. So that's his vision. His vision is truly human. Okay, he's not um, totally self-centric. So Hyperloop prototype is also there. He's, uh, he's working on it, and the speed that train that vehicle will go is at the speed of your 
uh, aeroplanes, jets. Now, he has been recently de uh, declared in January 18, 2021. Please what? Okay. No, no, not January. The date might be. But recently he has been declared the richest person in the world, surpassing Jeff Bezos, Bezos who is a uh, founder of Amazon. Uh, Amazon com okay now he has passed so earlier he has also lots of ups and downs he has lost so many much money now he has surpassed jeff Bezos. all right the other another good news is what is what is just now Elon Musk has uh let tesla has registered a subsidiary company in bengaluru as it creates much awaited manufacturing of tesla unit in tesla r d unit in yeah Okay. So in India also, we are going to see lots of highly high-end Tesla motor cars in the future. Okay. So this is very good news for India as well as our aspiring entrepreneurs, uh, mostly you guys, to venture into this. So that's for that's what uh, that's all I want to say. And uh, as for his saying, if something is important, one should do. One probably or probable is not. Actual probable outcome is failure, but once you do it, he or she thinks. Thank you, everyone, for listening patiently. And I, I, uh, I, I'll stop my presentation. Over to uh, Wang Chuk, sir. Thank you, Anil, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Actually, I think uh, Wang Chung, sir, is not at there. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, before starting the uh, next session, I want to share one information related with the. Wait a minute. Decathlon. Actually, this is. One minute, I will share the screen. Can you see the screen, sir? Sir, it is dark, sir. It is dark. Oh. Now no, we can see, sir. Okay. Actually, just now I received this information from the uh, IAC. So, this is an announcement for the students. Uh, the uh, Government of India, Ministry of uh, Education, and women cell they are, are uh, going to organize one competition that means uh, related with the techathlon this is looks like an uh, hackathon particularly the idea generation related with the important thing that means toys games based on bharatiya history civilization ethos and culture that means it's purely based on our own culture and our own tradition what are the toys and games we have okay so this is the competition uh, this is announced in the uh, january 5th they are uh, having the competition on uh, 24th something uh, the last date of submission of your ideas the idea related with the take out plant it means toys how you can produce the toys and games particularly our traditional or cultural historical based things okay so this is an, a small announcement then this is the guidelines they are also giving that okay if you need more information please go and visit that website they are mentioned about that https 
slash most probably this will be forwarded through the students okay so i request the students to get an a little bit idea before starting this session okay now we will start first of all i would like to thank iic president wang chung sir and uh, edc members as well as the srm management to providing the wonderful opportunity to deliver some interactional address with the students related the promoting entrepreneurship okay as Wang Chung sir tell about that, uh, our VC sir initiated so many things and he is an uh, biggest uh, inspi uh, providing more inspiration for the uh, young and dynamic student as well as the entrepreneurs. Recently, we are organizing, uh, we means in our university, they are organizing two programs related to develop the entrepreneurship. Uh, my topic, they are asking me to deliver and uh, promoting entrepreneurship in various areas, particularly in the hospitality and tourism sector. Okay, before starting my session, uh, I'm not going to teach any what is the entrepreneur and how they are and everything. Basically, everybody, they have their own talent and interest. First, they have to believe themselves. That means you have to believe yourself. Okay, the entrepreneur is nothing but to comparing all the factors of production as per the economical aspect, as the managemental aspect, who, who, um, those who are able to establish and run a business activities, they are called as an entrepreneur, but then a socialist who are able to manage themselves, they are become an entrepreneur. If you can manage yourself, you are the right person to be an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is nothing very simple. Those who are having the problems, those who are coming out of the problem, they are become an entrepreneurs. There are so many entrepreneurs are there. Uh, right now we are discussing about the business entrepreneurs only. There are social entrepreneurs are there, political entrepreneurs, the various types of entrepreneurs are there. Basically, Whenever we are talking about that entrepreneur or entrepreneurship, it requires some of the characteristics. Uh, for an example, I will give an, uh, only 10 C's are very essential. That means C. The first and foremost thing is clarity. That is what you want to do, how you want to do. Particularly as an entrepreneur, you have to make an, a very clear idea about very clear idea about the clarity. Clarity of purpose, clarity of aims and objectives, clarity of plan and everything. You have to make it very clear everything. How we make an, a clarity? So it required the creativity. The entrepreneurs having the creativity, those who have an, a creativity, they are able to come and a successful entrepreneurs. Most probably all the human beings, they have an, a creativity, their own creative ideas. That is called in a uh, technical term in the entrepreneur, they will tell about that uh, ideation or idea, idea formation. Where we can get an idea? We can search an idea, so many ideas. Whenever we are talking with our friends, anything related with that, immediately they will provide an idea. But most of the time, whenever we can utilize that idea means, whenever we are facing the problem, when we want to solve the problem, the finding the solution of the problem, it gives an idea. You can create an idea to two ways. One is you can create your own way whenever you are thinking about that. You have an, a creativity. And another one is you can borrow the idea from some of your friends and well-wishers. Okay, so 
everything whenever you are uh, talking about that idea it is based on the creativity so creativity is very essential for an, a successful entrepreneurs then third one is courage why i am telling this courage means the entrepreneurship is very essential to deal with the future always the business uh, people they tell about that business is always dealing with the future we are making the plan and we want to implement it today we are making the plan tomorrow only we can implement tomorrow is uncertainty we could not able to predict anything but we have to make an courage ourselves to face everything we have an courage to face the future at the same time you have to make yourself that means courage on yourself to take the responsibility whenever you are ready to take the responsibility it is one kind of an a leadership so this is an a, another one important characteristics so these all are listed as an a characteristics of an a entrepreneurship apart from that that quality is there for example the contribution what they are contributing the contribution is not only in the sense of work and everything including the financial because whenever you want to start an any startup program or any industry or any enterprise it required the finance how we are mobilizing the finance all the finance we could not be able to mobilize from the loans or any other financial agencies some of them we have to contribute whether we make provide the contribution through the financial level or some other the materializations okay so these all are the contributions we have to channelize it channelize it means we have to give an a priority based what we have to do which one is we want to do first and second likewise the core of actions are activity plan in technically we, they are telling about that it's called as an activity plan or proposal usually everybody is familiar with the preparation of planning and proposals each and everybody all the individuals even it may be in a small kid or it may be in the biggest business people only think they are taking the priority based activities how we are providing the priority there are two kinds of priorities we are providing one is interest based priority another one is importance based priority whenever you are providing the interest based priority it will build yourself the self development if it is goes for an importance based priority the channelization then you may be success in your business or in your career so how we are channelizing our priorities that's very essential after that we need another one say is called challenging you have to challenge with the present and the future because always the entrepreneurship is in the competition each and everywhere okay uh, knowingly or unknowingly we are right now we are living with the modern marketing world modern marketing is always having the competition however you are doing your business that is always challenging one you have to challenge with you you yourself not to one others that is an a proverb if you want to improve yourself you have to achieve what you are achieved yesterday that means whatever you are doing today you have to crash that tomorrow you have to break your records every day then only you can grow up these uh, type of attitudes are required for an, an entrepreneurship and final c is called change you have to accept the change without accepting the change you could not able to do similarly we have to utilize the change because whenever we are thinking about that problem problem is comes around the changes only so the change is considered as an opportunity 
if you utilize that opportunity you can overcome from the changes and the change is providing that opportunity why i am talking about that opportunity means whenever you are talking about that entrepreneurship entrepreneurship idea and everything it will comes from the opportunity there is an opportunity for all everybody they have an equal opportunity did you believe it or not yes yes sir all the students having that opportunities all the human beings having the opportunity did you believe or not yes sir yes sir how many of you utilizing that opportunity because there are two kinds of opportunities are there one is creating the opportunity whenever we are in the position of need something we can create that that is called as a net creation of opportunities at the same time another one is called as an identification of opportunities whenever we are dealing with an identification of opportunities means we have to wait for the right time to do that work or we have to do the some of the things we are, which one is called uh, easy whether it is in a creation of opportunity or identification of opportunity generally the entrepreneurs are effective managers or leaders they will create the opportunity they will make a uh, sequences or situations favorable for to do the work okay most of the time we have an a problem to identify the opportunity which one is right time which one is right thing to do which one is this opportunity that is there that we have an a lack of identification that's why most of the entrepreneurs uh, just now uh, uh, on a amit sir and anup sir they are giving the list of entrepreneurs those who are already succeeded okay from the ptm to science entrepreneurs you can just read out their own life story where they are become as an entrepreneurs when they are facing some problems they identify the problem and they find the solution for the problem they converted that solution into the business that's why they are called as an entrepreneurs even the ptm to facebook whatever may be they are facing some problem then they identify this is the problem that problem to be solved how they are solving that solvation process has to be converted as an a business process okay why i am telling this means very very easy to create the opportunity and utilizing the opportunity for example uh, small case study likewise yeah, during that uh, pandemic situation of uh, covid 19 one of our student has started his own business i think he is not at right now who is called mr titus uh, second year pg student he started his own business as an chef chef's kitchen he prepared the food and delivered to the home delivery actually there are so many home delivery concepts are there but he utilized this opportunity this problem pandemic situation no shops are open he utilized that opportunity he established a separate kitchen and everything right now he is doing the business providing order based food and everything to deliver to the home okay why i am telling this means how we are utilizing the opportunities how we are converting the problems into opportunity that's the way we can promote ourselves that's why very beginningly i told it the entrepreneurs are nothing but those who are effectively managing themselves if you want to manage yourself you have to know yourself more than others that's very essential 
so in technical person they will tell about that you have to make an a swat analysis and you have to make an a touch theory you have to go with an a right theory likewise but that is an a secondary part first and foremost thing is you want to make your own interest okay you if you want to prove yourself you have to learn about yourself back to my subject for example in hospitality and tourism actually this is the pandemic situation the hospitality and tourism industry has most affected industry in the world I'll, due to this pandemic situation that corona infections and everything but we hope so there are a lot of opportunities to establish new concerns that means new entrepreneur scopes whenever we are talking about that hospitality and tourism generally we came to know that there are hotels travel agencies tour operators likewise only even though the hotels are travel agencies we had a specific and unique business concepts for example hotels or restaurants there are so many hotels or restaurants are there why we have to prefer some of the specialized hotels and restaurants we have recently there is on a survey i think anup sir is there anup sir will accept it i think so uh, recently we have one survey then they told about that particularly after the pandemic situation that uh, after the covid 19 situation most of the people they turned their food habits into their ethnic and indigenous foods not only in sikkim all over the world there are so many herbals and uh, medicinals are there which one is utilized for the home purposes they are right now they are marketing right now we in, even in india there is an the biggest scope for aish tourism did you know about that word aish tourism it's concept of medical tourism particularly in india we are concentrating about that non allopathy medicines that means uh, english medicines we are not much more recommended for an english medicines for in the tourism aspect they are uh, converted as an uh, aish ayurvedic you know, yoga um siddha likewise okay so why i am telling this means we have an, a lot of opportunities in that aish tourism that means medical tourism concept particularly in sikkim and northeast also okay similarly that food whenever you are you want to establish any new restaurants that should be for go for an ethnic foods or any indigenous foods we can develop that kind of restaurants and everything these all are the general apart from this the biggest area which has been incorporated with the tourism industry as well as the technology industry recent development is travel blockers the narrators the videographers photographers artists those who are performing the local folk and classical arts music players likewise those are having their own talent and interest they can become an entrepreneurs they will in, take an opportunity to establish new startup in tourism and hospitality businesses because the tourism and hospitality whenever we are using the word tourism we have another two important things one is travel sector another one is hospitality sector if you want to become an a tourism entrepreneur you have only one quality which one is unique qualification or quality you have whatever may be if you are an a good narrator you become an a entrepreneur in tourism industry if you are an a musician you can engage yourself as an a tourism entrepreneur if you are an artist or craftsman if you want to make any kind of if you want to make an any kind of crafts 
handicrafts if you are ready to do that then you will become an entrepreneur of tourism industry because it has an a lot of scopes not an unlimited that's why i told that for example if you are an it professional not an issue if you are an a good block developer content based there is an a travel block travel blocker if you are an a photographer you may engage yourself as an a tourism entrepreneur apart from that if you are in a language people if you are very familiar with more languages then you become an a guide as an a the translators then you have an escort along with the tourist escort tourism concept is there then the bodyguard okay there are so many opportunities are there only thing you have to identify your own skill which one is stronger in your area i think some question is there i have opened a small online business what can i do to promote see online business is okay online business what kind of business because each and every business promotional strategy is completely different okay sir sure. yes sir sir it's like i'm i'm selling in game purchases sir oh indian in game purchases for cash sir okay because sir some game needs diamond and all that for for that diamond we have to pay cash right hmm i feel that one which is not available in india also sir oh other game for other oh, games also so. oh that we can discuss no uh, you can ask uh, you are from it department na no? yes sir yes sir okay you can discuss your uh, coordinator uh, sivram sir is there you can give yes, up your sir. idea then what you, are, you can give detail about uh, what is the product and what you are doing yes, which sir. way uh, promoter means uh, we want to know about the customer or the client of your product based on the client of the, your product we have to frame the promotional strategy yes sir okay no problem we can discuss uh, you can first you have to discuss with your uh, faculty member then we have an a committee members na we can do yeah. okay so very sure, next sure. Uh, within two days we have to ask them otherwise saturday sunday again we have an a meeting uh, at the time we given uh, we can take your product as an a model product we can give an example how we what are the ways we can promote and everything sure 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 okay anyhow all the best thank okay. you sir all right actually see there are so many scopes and uh, chances to prove yourself as an entrepreneur the only thing that important is the basic interest if you have the interest in uh, generally we have an uh, one theory ask theory ask um, uh, management people maybe you cross over that attitude skill and knowledge whenever the knowledge and skill it can be developed in between that means uh, the knowledge can be developed through the education skill can be developed through the training and development programs but the attitude is very essential without attitude you would not able to do anything so whenever you if you want to become an entrepreneur you should keep up the attitude of entrepreneurship you have to develop the qualities particularly there are three important qualities are there one is creativity second one is taking the responsibility third one is identifying and accepting the changes these are the three important things if you are ready to do then you will become an entrepreneur the first one is creativity you have to create your own don't borrow any ideas from others okay that's why uh, very beginningly uh, wang ching sir uh, starting this program uh, at the time he telling about that that ideation program we are started with the ideation program how we can make an idea how we can ideate 
that idea is not comes from individually or normally before that if you want to create that idea you have to know about yourself and that's why i started that those who are managing themselves those who are knowing themselves they can succeeded in the business they will become as an a leader they will become as an a good citizen of any nation or any society okay so few of the words only i have to tell about that to promoting the entrepreneurship only you have to develop the qualities of our characteristics of few of the things first you have to make it your own creativity independent thinking and taking the decisions taking the responsibility and utilizing the opportunities these all are the basic things if you want to do then it is very easier to become an entrepreneur it will starts from your attitude if you have an interest the attitude will come over there so the basic interest who will bring the interest there is an english proverb is there you can pull the horse in near the water you could not able to drink the water for on behalf of the horse likewise we can bring and we can show the ways we can providing the opportunity these all are the chances are there you can utilize but that utilization and uh, sorry utilizing that opportunity and utilizing the things or each and every individuals are there okay so this is the way we want to tell about that so then we have an uh, another important aspect of opportunity for an entrepreneurs that is called my tourism concept previously it is called as an event management once the general people general public they are utilizing their functions and everything on their own way but right now each and every activity we are depending some consultancy suppose if you want to make an a marriage function we, most of the people right now they are giving the marriage contractor even they are searching the marriage uh, partners life partners we are going along with the online platforms matrimonial platforms only they are searching uh, if you want to get an uh, food what type of food where we want to get it immediately we are searching the online only okay so there are so many middlemen those who are organizing so many events there are various types of events even including the meetings company meetings as well as the political re uh, religious there are so many meetings can be conducted by the event organizers not only the meetings apart from the all the kind of events uh, for example exhibitions any fairs and festivals okay uh, ex uh, exhibitions promotionals product launches if you want to launch any product there is an event organizers are that new product launching okay so likewise recently uh, last one year particularly uh, during the lockdown period even the lockdown period the mice industry has little bit survived because during the period there are so many things they are introduced they are launching that online platforms are utilized for that okay so how they are utilizing these are the one of the important hospitality and tourism prospective areas become an entrepreneurship but only thing you have to understand which is your skill and talent which is your interest based on the individual's interest and the skill the product and the business can be developed uh, my idea is not work out with your skill and everything my idea and my skill only can be utilized for my entrepreneur enterprise is it possible uh, if i am providing an idea to you can you utilize that students no sir most probably it can't because my idea and my process is completely different what i am thinking you could not be able to predict because most of the time as an individual i am not able to 
predict myself what I am thinking. Isn't it? As a normal human being, whatever we are thinking about that, same we can't to do. Is it possible to implement all our thinkings? No. But how the systematically we are thinking and we are trying to implement that. That's the way we are going to success. So this is the way. Uh, today, I don't want to go for a pure lecture on the class-based thing. I'm sharing only the few informations related with the promotional aspects and how we can utilize the entrepreneur uh, cell for our development. Because if you have an idea, the EDC and the IIC has to give the guidelines to improve as a complete business. Okay. Only thing you have to come up with the you have to come up with a clear idea or some vague I want to do this. If you want to do something the related skill and knowledge if you have or not you have to evaluate yourself if you have that skill and knowledge then it will be easier to you to get an a uh, success in your life not only the in entrepreneurship but also in whole life so i will stop over here okay Wang Ching, sir. Wang Ching, sir, is not there. Okay. Anyhow, uh, so, uh, students, if you have any other doubts or any other clarifications, if you need, please. Likewise, there is one IT student, he is asking about that. He can clarify. Okay. Again, I'm just I'm rem reminder that there is an uh, decathlon that means uh, decathlon uh, tech that is uh, toys and uh, games of Indian history. That means our our uh, traditional or our cultural games and toys. If you have any ideas about that, you can make it. You have to visit the website mentioned in that. Most probably they will send the link and everything to the students all the students those who are interested utilize that at least you can see that what is happening and how it is going there okay so if you don't have any other doubts formally we can wind up this session is there any doubts are there if you want to discuss anything No, sir. Okay. Formally, we have to close the uh, validating this webinar. Uh, so I am taking this opportunity for a vote of thanks. Uh, I would like to thank our uh, management, VC, sir, uh, also honorable associate deans and uh, HODs, along with the uh, coordinators to providing me a wonderful opportunity as well as the students to have an, a nice interaction so th thank you one and all apart from that uh, the special thanks to our uh, students those who are present over here uh, attending is not an issue uh, after the webinar what we are thinking about that, how long it will providing the uh, impact and uh, how long we are thinking about that topic. That's very essential. So I'm asking you to think about that. Mostly think about yourself. You can identify your strength and weakness. Based on your strength, you can do whatever you want to do. Uh, so and 
with this note i would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to uh, iic members and edc members those who are present and those who are organizing this wonderful webinar thank you thank you one and all thank you so much thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.